Hey everybody, Warthog43 here, and we are back with another YouTube video. So, so far, um, I've been gone for a couple of weeks because I've been taking a little bit of a break, just getting my classes out of the way, and yeah, we are officially back, and I got a new PC, as you can tell. It is a desktop PC, so more space equals more things to help you guys on, so yeah. Um, for today's video, we are going to do another NASCAR Racing 2003 um, season tutorial video. It's been quite a while since I've done one of these, so yeah, I've been getting a lot of uh, comments from you guys from two in our 2003 tutorial videos, and one thing is that you guys uh, have a problem with setting your cars at the max in a roster. So for today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to do just that. So. Before we begin, be sure to drop a like, subscribe, turn on post notifications so you'll never miss any of my videos, and let's get into it. Alright, so, let's get this done. So, let's go to NASCAR Racing 2003 season, and we're going to open it up to see exactly what our problem is. So we're just going to open the game up real quick. And most of you guys have a, um, had this issue with the Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series, which is the 2019 one. So what you want to do first is you don't want to go to Player Info because that's not where you go for the rosters. That's where you go to select your car. So to check for a car roster in a mod, you want to click Opponent Manager. So we're going to wait for this to get in. And as you can see... Um, here we are in opponent manager. So the first thing is well here is your list of cars here Every single paint scheme that you got a little um, downloaded for the mod So what you want to do is that you want to go over here and select a roster. So for example 2021 underscore all Click display active drivers only and you can select how many cars you want in this mod so um, for example, we can add another 2021 car and we're just going to look for one randomly, and here is Kozlowski's 2021 Ford Mustang. Of course, there's another one in here, but we're just going to add another one. So what you want to do, over here to the left, where this empty space is, you want to click it, and that X means that it's in the roster. So, yeah, that's basically how you do it. And if you want to change the ratings for the car, you can click it again to exit um, to take that driver out. You can over here and go to the ratings, and this is where you can um, basically check uh, how you want the car to finish in some certain race. So, for example, you want Brad Kozlowski to be the pole setter for the race, you can set the, um, the qualifying to the max. So, yeah. If you want him to, uh, if you want, uh, this, if you want a driver to finish successfully on any type of track, you want to upgrade the abilities they have on these three kind of tracks. Oh, four kind of tracks. And you can also do the same thing with the finishing as well. You can, um, upgrade um, you can turn up their aggression so they can be way more faster and way more aggressive on the track. And consistency, well, I'm not really too sure about that. And as for the pit crew, um, you can change exactly how fast they move on the track. So, for example, you want them to move really fast, you can just set this up at the max. If you want their strategy to be nice and cure, you can set this up at the max as well. So that's basically to it. And basically, if you want a hat to what, uh, excuse me, if you want to have a full roster, you can just basically, you know, go over here. Oh, and once you're done, select yes. And then you can just do the same thing for every single other driver. So we're just going to tick, for example, Ryan Newman. And then he's officially inside of the uh, 2021 underscore all roster. So yeah, that's basically how it's done. And I know this mod is, uh, excuse me, I know this video is kind of short. There's basically not really anything to it, but, uh, yeah, it's just how it is. Anyway, you guys, thank you guys so much for watching. This has been it for the NR2003 tutorial video. If you guys still have any problems with the game, be sure to let me know down in the comments below. I'm, I'll always be there to help you guys out. And anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.